Hello, this is Roger Bisbee from the Skill Builder Help Desk. We've got a question from John. John's cracking up. Well, he's not cracking up. His building's cracking up, and he's a little bit concerned about it, as you would tend to be if you paid a load of money for a house and it started cracking up on you. So what have we got here, John? We've got a crack that's running down the mortar, and then it's going straight through the brick, down the mortar, down the mortar, then through another brick. So even if you go around and repoint that, you've got a few crack bricks there which look quite alarming, don't they, if you don't know what's going on. So let's have a look at the other one. This shows the corner of the building. This is where the cracks are. And basically what's happening here, it's a bit of movement, and it's not horrendous movement. These things do happen. It could be that it's on clay and there's a bit of seasonal movement in the clay. Foundation's moving slightly up and down. Now, if this were an old sand and lime building, and that mortar was a bit more forgiving, the crack would just have followed the mortar line all the way down, zigzagging its way innocently down to the ground. And you could have just put some nice five to one, something like that, six to one mix in there and repointed it and rubbed it in a bit and it wouldn't have shown, it would have been fine. And there are millions of buildings like that throughout the country, which are just old sand and lime buildings they move around, they crack a bit along the mortar and then the mortar kind of miraculously heals itself because it's got a bit of lime in there and you never have to worry about it. But what we've got here is modern brick. That's a flitting brick, not a particularly nice brick, not a particularly strong brick. They're quite brittle, but they don't have a lot of strength in them. Uh, they're fired at a lower temperature than uh, the old traditional stocks, if you like. And then they've gone and committed to cardinal sin which is to use a really strong mortar there, the mortar being stronger than the brick. So what happens when you've got a mortar stronger than the brick? Instead of it moving along the mortar lines, any movement in the structure straight through the brick. So that's why that's happened. If that mortar were the same hardness, if you like, the same strength or even softer than the brick itself, all that movement would have taken place along the mortar line and it would have been fine. So what he's got to do now is just sort that out and probably just replace a couple of bricks, which is not that easy because you've got to match them and it's quite hard matching bricks like this. So there you are, John. I don't think it's the end of the world, but I don't think it's the beginning of the world either. Why did I say that? That's right. It's not the end of the world. That will be coming next year on Skill Builder, where we'll be coming to you from our underground bunker, fighting over the last jar of pickles and putting the finishing touches to the latest edition of the Skill Builder newsletter, which you can join. Join that list by hitting the link or you can just click on the link. You don't have to hit it. Don't be so violent. It's the end of the world. What do you care? Just join the list. <laughs>